Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Calvary Church. It's very nice to see all of you here today. As we open this service, we're going to sing a song that has been in church hymnals since the 1600s. In fact, this hymn was originally written in German, and it was written 100 years before the founding of our country. And so it reminds us that God is the God of power and love, that he's never far away, and that he leads us every day in our daily lives. To him be all praise and glory, and that's what we want to do. Would you stand? Let's sing together.
Savior, Jesus Christ, together. We lift our banner high. We lift the name of Jesus. From age to age you reign. Your kingdom has no end. We lift our banner high. We lift the name of Jesus. From age to age you reign. Your kingdom Good morning. Thanks for singing. Go ahead and have a seat. My name is Stan Mon. I'm one of the pastors here in the church family, and I give you a warm welcome this morning. Whether you're joining us here in the room or joining us on the, online, we're just really glad you're here today. And we want to connect with you, and there's a number of ways that you can help us do that. Uh, one, you can take out your phone and turn on this camera and point it at that funky little square thing on the screen there and touch it. And presto, like magic, it will take you to a place where you can do an online registration card or connection card. You can learn about announcements that are in the bulletin, find ways to serve, and, and many other things. And this is for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're new here or have been coming for a long time. Uh, this is for you. Two, if you want to talk to some of our staff members, right after the service is over, you can go out to the lobby out in that area where you see the great big picture windows overlooking that beautiful courtyard. Some of our staff will be out there and you can chat with them. Three, if you have something in your heart that you really want to pray about with somebody or share on a more personal level, our care team will be down here in the front after the service is over. And they would be more than happy to talk with you and pray with you about anything that's on your heart. If you're joining us live uh, from the website uh, and you want to click that live prayer button at any time, uh, one of our hosts would be happy to pray with you about anything that's on your heart. Now, beyond all this, uh, we have a new membership class that's starting up two weeks from today. And you can click that QR code on the screen for that as well if you want to sign up to do that. Uh, I went through that membership class myself a number of years ago. Really enjoyed that. Uh, I think you will too. And you might ask the question, if you've been coming here for quite a while, why haven't you taken that step? I hope you will. And uh, it's one more way that you can strengthen your connection with this church family. All right, we're going to switch gears here now and do something different. Uh, the writer of Hebrews uh, talks about the great heroes of the faith who have gone before us. And then he describes them as this great cloud of witnesses that surrounds us. And from our church family, we have added many to that cloud of witnesses this past year. And it's been our tradition for quite a while to take some time early in the year to remember those who have gone to be with the Lord over the last year. So the choir is going to sing. Uh, you're going to see the names and faces on the screen of those who have gone to be with the Lord over the last 12 months. 
And I'm going to warn you ahead of time, it's emotional. It, it always is. And for some of you, you're going to see uh, faces there of people that you dearly loved and you still miss them greatly. But because their trust was in Jesus, there is a glorious future that awaits them and us if our trust is in Jesus as well. So let's watch this together.
if there's a tear in your eye right now, please know that you're not alone. This is, this is always so uh, emotional. And that song you just heard reminds us that there will come a day when we join the resurrection and stand beside the heroes of the faith. And that resurrection day is coming. There are many places in scripture that talk about our resurrection day to come and our resurrection body and what that will be like. One of them I want to read for you this morning is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And it's describing an event that many would recognize to be the rapture of the church. But it's talking about our resurrection, the, our resurrection day, when, when we will rise with our new body to uh, meet the Lord. And I just want to read this for you because it's written exactly for an occasion such as this, to comfort us as we think about our loved ones who knew Jesus as Savior and now have left this life. Let me read this for you. We do want, not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of the archangel, with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who remain, will be caught up together with, with them. I love that part of it. Together with them. Okay, great words. Think about that. To, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. And then it ends with the exhortation. Therefore, comfort one another. Encourage one another with these words. So, would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we thank you for the promise that what looks like the end for us is not the end. And thank you, Jesus, for the promise that you will come again. You will burst through the skies one day to the shout of the archangel and the trumpet of God and we will rise in our new glorified resurrected bodies along with our loved ones who have trusted Jesus over the years. Together we'll see each other again together and together we will meet you face to face. And Lord you have got such a glorious future that awaits us more than we can even comprehend. Lord, we pray especially for those today who are, who are mourning the loss of a loved one, whether that was recently or a long time ago. Lord, we pray that you would comfort them with the knowledge of this glorious future that awaits us. And on that day, we'll join the resurrection and stand beside the heroes of the faith. And with one voice, a thousand generations will sing, worthy is the Lamb who was slain. So Lord, let it be today that we shout the hymn of heaven with angels and the saints raise a mighty roar. Glory to our God. Think of these words, who gives us life beyond the grave. Holy, holy is the Lord. Father, thank you for that. Thank you for those promises. Thank you for the promise that we'll see you again one day. We pray in Jesus' precious name. Please stand as we get ready to sing again.
and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, you are the God of power and love. We worship you today for bringing us salvation, for helping us in our daily lives all the way till the time that you call us home to be with you. Lord, we praise you for your goodness and for your care. Thank you for being the awesome, eternal God. We worship you and praise you today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Please be seated. 